If your water heater is continuously tripping a circuit breaker, it's usually caused by a short in a wire or a bad thermostat or heating element inside the water heater. I'm Dave Jones, Master Plumber for Rotorooter Plumbing and Drain Service. I'm going to show you how to figure out what's causing your water heater to trip its circuit breakers. So the first step is to turn off the power at the breaker box or the water heater's disconnect box. Remove the panel covers, insulation, and plastic protectors from around the thermostat wires. You'll need to do this for both the upper and lower water heater thermostats because most units have two separate heating elements in the tank. Once you have removed the upper and lower panels and exposed the thermostat wires, turn on the power at the breaker so that you have electricity going to the appliance. If the circuit breaker back the panel trips immediately, you most definitely have a bad wire or bad heating element. So we need to figure out which one is responsible. Once again, cut off the power completely because we're going to test the heating elements. Here's how we're going to do that. The water heating element will be located just below the thermostat you'll only be able to see the electrical portion of the element in the panel. We want to get out our multimeter. We're going to test for continuity on the element. Set your multimeter to the continuity setting, which is the omega symbol, and it looks like a horseshoe. In the continuity range, there should be a setting on your multimeter for audible sound. What you want to do is just touch the two probes together and you should hear a beeping or ringing sound coming out of your multimeter so you know that it's working. Once you've set the meter, Test the heating element for continuity. We want to disconnect the two wires from the terminal screws. Next, touch your probes to the terminal screws, one on the left and one on the right on the element. You should be able to hear an audible sound, but if you do not, the element is bad and it needs to be replaced. If you do hear a sound, we're going to do one additional test. Touch one probe to a terminal screw and the other probe to the tank's metal casing. You should not hear an audible sound when this happens then do the same to the other terminal screw. Again, you should not hear the multimeter making any warning sound, but if you do, that means the element is bad and you confirm that it needs to be replaced. Repeat the same test for the lower element inside the other access panel. If everything checks out okay and the elements are good, then we have probably have a problem with a short in a wire somewhere in the water heater's wiring system. If you don't see anything obvious like a damaged wire, you really ought to contact an electrician to track down the problem because you will be venturing in a territory that can be very dangerous for most do-it-yourselfers. I'm Dave Jones, Master Plumber for Rotor Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service. Thanks for watching.